Do you regret building our home? Oh, that made me very sad. Are we gonna stay in this home? Are we gonna stay in Florida? Are we loving Florida? Are you still see? <laughs> I literally mm -hmm. burped Micah where Chad's sitting right now. Okay. What's the story behind Tori's engagement ring? What happened to that hot podcast? Spill the tea on all the upcoming projects that you guys are hinting at. But we'll spill the tea on like one that was like a new thought and yeah. just see if y'all would actually want something like this. Well. Three, two, well, <laughs> hello, you guys. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to the channel, everyone, for a fun questions or like things that we've never shared with you all. Literally. This idea came to me because, you know, praise God for this girl's follow up, but <laughs> she has followed up with email a few times asking for the story behind Tori's engagement ring. And I said to Tori, I was like, why don't we film a video sharing things that we've never shared with you all before? And there's some yeah. juicy ones here. So definitely yeah. stay tuned for that. But we turned it into just a fun little pillow talk episode. Yeah. Full transparency, this is not what we look like in the morning. I may put a photo of us up right here, what we actually look like wow. in the morning. But yeah, so this is Micah's first nap. It's, yeah. it's still the morning time. I still have that raspy morning kind of thing. I think it's got it. I know. think you're actually losing your voice. I don't think it's just the morning because you've never. You said it looked, you said you, it sounded sexy yesterday. You do sound sexy, Papa. Now you're just, I, I felt so good and now you I don't. You should. No, I'm just saying, I've lost my voice multiple times since we've been married, but I don't feel like you've ever lost your voice before. <laughs> I mean, girl. Just saying it sounds good. Anyways, but before we jump in, I do have to share that this Pillow Talk episode is sponsored by the best pillows in the game. It's like the best fit ever. No, truly. Marlo Pillows from the creators of Brooklinen, which yes. like all of our betting it's is is Brooklinen. So now they just went out and wowed people by creating the most perfect pillow. My Tori shows okay, you this thing. You. I'm gonna talk about it for a quick sec. I just wanna remind you all that you spend a third of your life, 30% of your life laying down in bed <laughs> sleeping. No, true. So you you wanna love the bed and the pillow and the bedding that you're laying on. So let me yeah. just preface with that. Okay, so I've been sleeping on this pillow for the last couple of weeks and I feel like so often I will wake up with neck pain and I have not since using this pillow because literally it's adjustable, you guys. So it's like a one size fits all pillow. There's zippers on both sides and there's mesh, so it's like great airflow, but also it's cooling, which is like my love language when it comes to a pillow. And so if you want it firm, you can zip both sides. If you want it plush, you can unzip both sides. And then if you want medium, you can unzip one side. And so like, It's perfect for both of us because I want my pillow to feel small because I don't yeah. want my neck to come up like that. And Tori's the opposite. She want to feel like she's a pillow girl. I'm like, As I, I, want it to I feel like most girls are. That's why you have 50 pillows. I love these pillows because for me, I just want one pillow and I want to lay flat. That way my neck isn't jacked up. But yeah. they have the best Memorial Day sale happening right now. And it's yeah. going quick. So act now. It's up to 30% off plus an additional 20% off when you use our link in the description. So. Yeah. Up your pillow game, take your sleep seriously. Remember, a yeah. third of your life is spent on the bed sleeping, yeah. so you wanna love your sleep. Yeah, we'll put that link below for you guys. Okay, first question. Let's just go for a juicy one off the bat. Okay. Do you regret building our home? Oh, you do. I, it's not that I regret building our home because I love our home. I mean, it is beautiful, it is an answer to prayer. But looking back, would I have done things differently? Yeah. I don't think I would have gone well, as big. I don't think that we would have done two stories. I think we would have started with like a smaller first home. Yeah. If we went Okay, back. well, that made me very sad. <laughs> what? I, no, do, do you feel like- No, I, I actually like do agree with you. I wouldn't have gone two stories. I think that we tried to build our forever home too early. Mm -hmm. And looking back, I think we just kind of found ourselves in a tough spot regarding our home because I do think we regret building it. Do we love our home? And did we get yes. in at a great time in terms of home yes. appreciation and the cost that we built yeah. it for versus what, yeah, there, that's all great stuff. But when you think about the fact that we want a full-time guest room, we want myself an office, we want Micah to have a room. And then when we have more children, it's like, yeah. you kind of have to build a, a house a certain size. Yeah. 
because how else do you fit like a lot of people in here? Yeah. No, we're and not babies. afraid of kids sleeping in the same rooms and stuff like that. Not but it was definitely like. But I do feel like when it's a nursery, I, if we have another baby anytime soon, mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to put a new baby next to Micah right away because Micah yeah. just started sleeping. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think that like having a nursery separate. Shout like out a Micah. Kids room would be important. Mm -hmm. you know, for me just to like have that separation. And right now we only have like Micah's, Micah's rooms downstairs. But even with that, like he feels so far away once we transitioned him to his room. I think when you become parents, you just think a little differently because originally we were gonna put his nursery upstairs. And then as soon as I got pregnant, we were like, yeah, no, that's said, not no. gonna work. Yes, yeah, she said I'm out. And so we moved it downstairs. But then literally we're like, okay, if we have another, baby like are we moving Micah upstairs like that feels so weird yeah and so I don't know I, yeah. there's definitely things that we would we would change yeah. and we would put the nursery <clears throat> a lot closer to our master so leading to the next question <laughs> that's a that's a great segue because you have so many regrets building this home that begs the question is are we gonna stay in this home are we gonna stay in Florida are we loving Florida are we planting roots here in Florida <laughs> no, listen, we we can't lie. We we have thought about what it would be like to live closer to community. Yeah. We, we we can't we can't hide that from you all. I'm sure yeah. you all felt that as we were like creating those vlogs of visiting friends. But we also love Florida. We're both born and raised here. Yeah, and we we do like as much as I just said, like there's regrets that we have in this home, this is still like our home. Yes. Like I literally mm -hmm. birthed Micah where Chad's sitting right now. Okay, it's been washed, really disinfected. Crazy. So there's just so many memories in this home. And like when we came back from that trip, I could have kissed the floor. Like I love yeah. this place so much. So I don't want it to come across as like unappreciative or mm -hmm. any of that because I truly could not appreciate this home more. Like every single detail was yeah. so intentional and thought about. And I know that if we were to move like wherever we do move if we do it's not going to be the same as this house yeah. and that's something that i'll have to like wrestle with yeah probably mourn a little bit yeah and we're also saying this like we're not moving tomorrow or even next month this is something that we're saying like in the future yeah if god calls us and there's like confirmation etc then like things will be yeah put in place but yeah, but We're I also just want to want to clarify. You're allowed to think about stuff. Yeah. Like just because you're thinking about something doesn't mean you're not grateful for this yes. home. And yeah. you know that's the whole point of pillow talk is it's just yeah. like airing out thoughts. And yeah. honestly, that brings me to just wanting to thank you guys for yeah. watching our videos and giving us the opportunity to even think about like life, life, and, <laughs> and what dream. we want to do yeah. and dream and stuff like that. It's only possible because of you all. So I just yeah. want to say that. Like, that's so true. and so. But next question, okay, which is the one that this girl has been lovingly asking for <laughs> is what's the story behind Tori's engagement ring? Yeah. If you guys remember the engagement video, it'll be up here somewhere. I put a lot of thought into designing her ring mm -hmm. and I had a mentor who unfortunately passed away. If you guys remember that video, Scott, he hooked me up with the ring. So he got it at a great price for us and he allowed me to do some unique things to it. And so the big story behind the ring is that I put a hidden diamond on the inside, a small little baby thing, just yeah. the smallest thing you could ever see inside of her band. And the story of it was that, is that, you know, the stone on top is beautiful and everyone like, oh wow, not, not nice ring and all this stuff. People get to see the beauty of Tori on the outside, but I get to experience what's on the inside. I get to really sh see the beauty that she emulates from the inside out. And so that's the story behind the engagement ring. <laughs> And so that was just a nice little thing that I wanted to do for her ring that it was like, it's just for her, for her. Of course, I'm sharing yeah. that idea, but I've shared it with a lot of people. Even um, though I can barely ever see the diamond anymore because I can't get my ring off. I can't get my ring off either. Like age is unforgiving in terms of like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, it is what it is. Goodness. Okay. Okay. Next question. The next one was what happened to that hot podcast? Yeah. What so, happened, babe? I, to be honest, I feel like we announced it and got excited about it a little bit too soon, just a little bit prematurely. We still love the idea of it and yeah. think that it could have been like such a fun and amazing podcast. We actually recorded 
six episodes of the podcast yeah. and for some reason it just like never came to fruition and yeah. i think we just had too much on our plates yeah and coordinating everything and getting new people on the podcast and trying to figure out how to Mm -hmm. how to do that and make it feel organic and like us and not a production and yeah. everything else was yeah. just tough. Yeah, I love what you said there about it feeling organic and not a production because there is a certain extent when you have guests on that you need to like produce it and you need yeah. to have questions prepared. You don't want it to feel scripted, but you want to like be prepared. So there's yeah. like this fine line. But I mean, I personally have an answer to like what happened. Go for it. We did all the right things but then whenever we started talking to our management about it, like, oh, it could be cool if a podcast network would like to produce this for you all. Mm -hmm. And so that's basically when they shop it around to Spotify, to iHeart Podcasts, yeah. to any other media company who manages and produces podcasts. And we got into negotiations with several of those companies. And when I say we, I mean Tori and I didn't, it was management. To get someone to basically purchase the podcast. That means they do everything yeah. and we just show up in the podcast. Yeah. And then basically it was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for a couple months. Yeah. And then it just kind of fizzled because, yeah. well, and we also like launched it and then we found out that she was pregnant, what, yeah. like shortly after? Yeah, like a couple weeks after. Yeah. And so obviously life just happened and that kind of leads to this last question, which was, or it wasn't even a question, it was more of a statement, which is spill the tea on all the upcoming projects that you guys are hinting at. <laughs> I feel like we're always working on things kind of mm -hmm. behind the scenes and we always have new ideas. And I think some of it has been like, oh, we're prefacing like a lot and it's always like an underlying current, but the last year we just had so much going on with me getting mm -hmm. pregnant and then having Micah and then adjusting a new parent yeah. life that projects just kind of got pushed to the back burner a little bit. Yeah. And now I feel like we're actually ramping them up and like things will be coming out for you guys soon. But we'll spill the tea on like one that was like a new thought and yeah. just see if y'all would actually want something like this. Chad and I love the idea of like cute, encouraging coffee table books. Mm -hmm. And with what we do with Mornings with the Masters, there's always like little daily inspiration quotes and pictures and things like that and we would love to like put those all together in either a coffee table book or like a little yearly calendar or something like that i feel like would be so yeah, fun i think if it was like a super aesthetic coffee table book because mm -hmm. we have coffee table books we have some we have from some um alabaster from alabaster yeah. i have one on like watches one on cars yeah. and one on paul newman funny enough who's a famous actor who passed away but yeah i don't have one like that what you're talking about and yeah. so that's just honestly that's like the smallest example like that was a new idea of something that we're working yeah. on there's so many others that actually are like yeah. in yeah, and, and so a lot of the reason why we're not going to share any more of those ideas is because we don't want it to become the That's Hot podcast yeah. where we share, too soon. we share too soon and then we realize we can't execute on it right now. Yeah. Now that Mike is sleeping, what, 10, 11, 12 hours a night, yeah. we feel like we're getting our life back. Yeah. And there are things that we absolutely want to say, get excited for. Yeah. But also, Tori and I are trying to be more realistic. That way we're not like get excited about this. And then you guys are like, what? We got excited and like, nothing yeah, happened. And, and yeah. so we may find a way to drop some of those That's Hot Podcast episodes, you know? I know. I was thinking like, could we do some type of like the hidden episodes? Yeah. It could be like the lost I mean? episodes the lost or something. Episodes. Yeah. yeah we'll think about that. But anyways. If that's something y'all are interested in. Also, something we really, really want to bring more to you guys is like downloadable resources that are free. Y'all love the non-negotiable downloadable PDF. We'll link it again if you missed that episode. But if there's any like style of resource that y'all would want, comment below because we love like creating mm -hmm. those things for you guys. That's always our heart is to bring value to your life, bring encouragement to your life. And so, yeah, if there's any like topic or anything specific that you're like, hey, I would really love some help in this area that you think that Chad yeah. and I can do, then... Ouch, I literally just scratched myself. Oh, I'm sorry, babies. It's okay. Anyways, do you want to show them your thumb? Oh. <laughs> it looks like absolutely nothing because there's just a bandage on it right now. But she apparently it up. me doing the dishes is a dangerous task because this is not the first time that I have cut my thumb 
very terribly. The first time was this time about five years ago and Chad and I were just dating. Mm -hmm. We weren't engaged yet. And I like don't have feeling in it. Like I actually like lost feeling, like I have nerve damage. And so this one, I was literally just cleaning a plate and it broke on my thumb. Like didn't drop, didn't mm -hmm. fall, like literally just broke on my thumb yep. and I went in yesterday to see if I needed stitches because it was like, bad. it's really bad. And it's actually too wide and too jagged to even stitch up. Oh, okay. That's and a, so, ugh. anyways, it's pretty bad. that's a sign that Tori and I need to buy higher quality plates. And speaking of high quality, make <laughs> sure to check out Marlo Pillows. Yes. The founders of Brooklinen have been a big supporter of our channel yes. regarding all of our bedding That's and now the pillows with their company Marlo. Yes. So definitely take advantage of up to 30% off on these pillows, plus an additional 20% off when you use the link in the description. Yes. Let us know if you like these kind of videos because it, it feels so much more chill, but we still are like sharing pieces of our life, which is yeah. fun. But yeah. other than that, we love you guys and we'll be talking to you in the next video. Love you, bye.